Then, when you left home and carried with you whatever it is I had done to you, I would have become a broken man. Well, it was embarrassing. Having to explain to other kids in middle school that your father was absent because he was on a permanent vacation? A broken man? A man with a good paying job and a family living in America, and you're talking about how you were scared of becoming a broken man? Josh Wolf isn't everything enough. I don't understand why this life here wasn't enough for you. Aren't you happy with Pellegrino and slices of the lemon in a bed? I mean, if you weren't doing well, as you said, and you thought that sticking around was going to harm me, how much of that has to do with this society? How much of it has to do with your own ideological, fantastical, you know, totally erroneous understanding of what it means to live life on this planet? I'm fine. Plenty of people around me are fine. I don't know if you're fine. Is it the world that was going to break you or was it your own expectations? And all this stuff about learning from other cultures, aren't you just... I mean, it seems like you're just fetishizing these other people. Because if these other ways of being are so wonderful, then why do you have to keep abandoning them in search of others? Because that's not what they're doing, right? So I told to say that I'm not going with you to Iceland, Dad. At a certain point in a person's life, you just need to settle. I'm tired. I don't want to keep chasing things, keep wanting something different. The whole of life is only what we have. Nothing more than that, I think. 